Hey! Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my track meet. So today, we are going to be giving you guys a little bit of a track meet vlog. But since I'm definitely not confident enough to hold my camera in public at the track meet and stand there and talk to it, we're doing it this style. So if you guys didn't know, I'm a track runner. It's a thing. I'm not good at it, but I do it. Today was a very interesting track meet because it was actually a relay meet. You know, it's not a super high stakes meet per se. And I was running in three events. I'll put them right here for any of my trackies that want to know that. <laughs> and to answer your question, I'm pretty slow at all of them, so don't need to worry about that. So I packed up my stuff and headed to the meet. Arrived at the meet, had my spikes, had my backpack in hand, walked out onto the field to discover that I was literally by myself. The call time was 3 p.m. I was there at 3 p.m. You best believe it. And yet here I was alone. None of my friends were there. Around 15 minutes later, my friends showed up, so I wasn't as lonely. And I had like an hour to kill while I was waiting before I could even start getting ready to run because for some reason we had to be there at three, even though our events didn't start till 5.30. Hello? So I was just sitting there watching some Cody Co videos and just chillaxing, doing nothing particularly interesting for those two hours. Like these. It is my camera. I said it was Megan. I thought it was her. Why would I be a camera? Oh, don't you like the car? I remember you talking about how you like taking photos of things. To warm before it was finally time to warm up for my first event, which was shuttle hurdles. I was running shuttle hurdles and I was anchoring it, which means I'm going last. <laughs> There's Katie. She and her are about to go. Throw away this trash, will ya? Stop! <laughs> really? Throw away this trash. And blew away, you littered! <gasps> no, no, she's, she's not. It's literally right behind Okay, you. anyways, you know the they're about to go. Right shush, 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 shush. I'm vlogging. They're about to go on a warm up. There's Fofe. She's a future vlogger too. And she's. You do not have my consent to film me. I'll blur your face. Yeah. And then so. My consent. Yeah, we just have to blur your face. You can blur anybody's Legal. face and put it on the internet. Yeah. And I was warming up for that, so I warmed up. I was doing my warm up lap with Sarah, and then I did some drills, you know. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere in there. Maybe not. Eh. <laughs> so after promptly finishing up our warm ups, it was almost time to do the shuttle hurdles. Well, first we took some artsy photos and videos of Megan's Dorito bag, which she just left there open. Hey, fam. What's up? I'm literally recording the Doritos. <laughs> Yum. Megan left her Doritos. We don't know where she went. I ate more of the Doritos. So, don't tell Megan. You should have ate more. Yeah, I really just ate the Doritos. So then it was time for me to run the shuttle hurdles. Now I was running last. I was getting fired up. I was excited. I was going to crush these hurdles. Now, to be fair, I am pretty slow and I was really nervous because the last time I did hurdles, I kind of fell. You close your eye. You imagine hurdles set up for shuttle hurdles. Then the gun goes off. Pooh. Now, the first person starts running. She gets a decent bit ahead. The next runner, nervous, takes off. She runs over the next 10, when you're still ahead by a good four hurdles. Then, our third runner goes. She continues. By the time we get to me, I'm there. We are so far ahead. All I have to do is hold out this lead. Of course, I bite the bullet a little bit, and I leave a little bit before the third runner crosses the line. Now, I'm just kind of hoping the person won't see it, and I continue. I do my steps pretty darn good, and I go over the hurdles as fast as I can, and I finished. So yeah, we finished the race. Um, we won. However, I found out later that I got DBQ'd because I left too soon. And I literally ruined that for my entire team and I was very upset about it. So, so yeah, whatever. We're just gonna cry about it later and move on to our next race. So we were just kind of hanging out in between the next race and the next race I was gonna be in is the 4x100 relay. 
Hi guys. Show my face. I can't. Okay, there. We won the shuttle hurdles. Yippee. Now, we are getting ready to run. Stop back here. <laughs> I can't see your face in the frame. Four by one relay, which I'm not normally in. Let's go. Uh, bye. So I'm never in sprint races, but because this race is kind of weird and they only have freshmen and sophomores and it's JV, they're like, let's just throw you in there, see what happens. So I was gonna be going first and then I was gonna be passing it to Fope. The lineup was posted. Everything was gonna be smooth. We had figured this out beforehand. Me and Fope had been practicing for a while. And then I was kind of standing there over by the long jump pit, like not really knowing what to do, just kind of like. And then they said like, um. Girls come down. So I walked over there, fuck, 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 only to find out that they were trying to kick me out of my own race. Okay, <laughs> drama. <laughs> So we're getting booted out of the 4x1 and now we're fighting to keep our butts in the 4x1. <laughs> Cut. So apparently, because this one other girl had like gone into the line and started to like get ready to run, I was about to be kicked out of my own race that I was literally on the lineup for just because the other girl had like taken the baton and was gonna go start the race without me. Even though I was supposed to be number I still don't know why she did that. Like I, I I'm sure there's a reason. I just don't understand. Like I and I was like, okay. Okay, well, I'll just take somebody else's place then, because I was supposed to be on one originally, and my friend Sarah, who was also on the line, was not actually right, so then I could just fill in and it would be fine. But then, eventually, I'm not gonna go into the details of everything, because it's very complicated, but eventually what ended up happening was I got kicked out of my own race, and I was very mad about it, because I really wanted to run that race, and I literally had been practicing it with Fope for a while, and yet I got sister kicked out of my own race. Hey! Hey, <laughs> YouTube! Are you still recording? Yeah. But my coach made up for it by putting me into the sprint medley. I was running second and I was running a 100 meter dash. I was ready. I was very excited because I had never really sprinted in 100 meter before. And I was like, I got this. I'm just going to go as fast as I can. And I ran like a bullet. I have speeded along that track. I don't really know how fast I was like in the course of like what my time was, I don't really know. But I eventually passed off the other girl. We ended up getting third place, which I think is not bad considering like three of us were not sprinters who were running it. And that race was over. Then I had a very quick turnaround to go to the 400, to go to the four by four. I am like always in the four by four and I never really want to be. So I was ready for the four by four. I was running second. Hi guys. <laughs> Okay. And this new girl who had never run sprints before was doing it so I was a little bit nervous because she might not know how to pace herself but she ended up doing just splendid. And so then we took off, started the race. I grabbed the baton from the first girl and I zoomed around that track as fast as I possibly could. Keep in mind, I was pretty tired both emotionally and physically so I wasn't necessarily at my best but I ran the best I could and passed it off to Fope. We ended up getting third in that race. Oh wait a second. I don't Wait, I think I'm doing the race mixed up. Yeah, we got third in that one. At that point, it had decided to rain. And so my socks were soggy, my backpack was soggy, everything was just disgusting. But you know what, whatever, the meet was over, even though I have to go back to school literally tomorrow. And then I have an AP test on Monday, and then four more days of school, and then a whole other week of school. And then anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my track meet. This track meet was actually pretty crazy and a lot happened. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next Saturday. Here's a shout out from the last video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Peace out. Bye.